Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So once again, we are going to do a very popular lead code problem that has been asked in companies like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Apple and bunch of more. So without any delay, let's get started. So the lead code problem we are going to solve is called min stack and you can see that this is a lead code medium problem and also a very well like problem on lead code. The problem statement is very simple that we need to design a stack that can support push, pop, top and retrieving the minimum element inside the given stop these four operations and it needs to run in constant time or big O of one time. So we need to implement the min stack class and these are all the methods that we need to implement. Now we know that how does a typical stack work. Stack operates in LIFO principle last in first out. If we decide to push element number 3 then we will have an entry 3 presented inside the stack. Next we can push another entry called 1 then once again we will have entry called 1 then once again we can have push another entry called 5. So currently we have three elements now inside the stack if we have to pop this element then the element 5 would pop out. So let's quickly pop one element so then we will get an answer number 5. Then if we do pop once again we will have value number 1. After doing that if we were to add two, two more elements or push two more elements let's assume 2 and 6. So once again we will have elements 2 and 6 something like this. Then if we do top operation at this moment it, it should return answer 6 because that is the top element inside the array. And then if we do get min then it should return us the value s2 because this is the current present minimum element inside the given stack. So these are all the operations that we need to do. We need to solve all of these in big O of one time which means we will have to do something different when we are designing our stack. So what are some of the considerations that we can do? The thing is this push method, pop method and top method. All of these three methods can operate in big O of one time. No issues with that. In either case, this get min is a little bit tricky because we will, we will need to know that what is the minimum element at any given moment. Now the very first thing that comes to our mind is that when we are designing the stack, uh, why don't we just have a, an extra variable called min to keep track of the minimum value we have encountered so far. So currently this is an empty stack. Let's assume that we enter value number 5. So this has been the minimum value so far 5. Next we add value number 6. So 5 is still the minimum value. Next we add value number 2. So once again we update this and add 2 over here. Once again we add value number 7. So now currently the minimum value is 2. But now there is one problem that you did not see. And that problem is that let's assume that we decide to pop one element out. So now currently 7 is no longer here. But once again the minimum var variable is still 2 because that is the minimum variable. Let's see. Let's say that if we do pop once again. So once again 2 is now no longer inside the given stack as well. So now if we do min operation, we don't know that what is the minimum value inside the array because we just overrode the value. So if we have to check for the minimum value, we will have to pop all the elements out of the stack and then find the minimum value that is option number one, which takes big off n time. And if we don't do that, we, we basically don't have any other way. So now to overcome this issue and to keep track of the minimum value at every single variable, we can actually do things slightly differently. So the moment we are storing the values inside the given array, uh, we are actually storing different nodes, right? For every single location. Now in this design of node, we can actually have node have multiple items, not only just its value. So let's assume that this is our given node. And so in the node, I'm suggesting to add three values. First value is the value of the node itself that whatever the value we wants to enter, that is your integer value, like one, two, three, four, whatever you wants to put. Next is that what has been the minimum value up to this point inside the existing stack. And if we keep on updating this value with every single entry inside the stack, this would be pretty easy to maintain. And last thing is the reference to the next node because uh, in case we will have to remove or get rid of the element, we might need to update the minimum value we have entered so far. So let's see that how would this approach is going to look like. Let's say that we want to add these values inside the stack. Okay. So first we want to add value number three. Currently the node is empty. So because node is empty, we are adding value number three. Uh, what has been the minimum value we have added so far? That is also going to be value number three. And the reference to the next node is going to be null. So we are not going to be concerned with that, that this is the very last element inside the stack. Okay. Now we need to add value number five. So we add value number five 
but what has been the minimum value is, is so far so for that we can either check the minimum value of the next pointer using this next pointer so we check that what has been the minimum value of the next pointer at location number five that is value number three and what is the value of this current uh, value we are trying to enter that is value number five so whichever is the smaller number which is three in this case so we will uh, still mark three as the minimum value we have been able to find and then we simply have a reference to the next node so reference to the next node once again i'm just marking as three but th that is simply going to be this node okay once again we wants to enter value number one so now at one what has been the minimum value up until this point that is this value number three so instead of using three because one is smaller so the smallest value so far is going to be one and the reference to the next node is also going to be this one same way now we wants to add value number seven but what has been the minimum value we have been able to find so far that is value number one and then just the reference to the next node and then in the end the value is zero so now the value is zero we are trying to see that what has been the minimum value up until this point that is one so compared to one zero is smaller so then this is also going to be zero and then we simply have a reference to the next node okay so now this is what our uh, stack looks like we are simply updating the node that we are storing uh, the values in and now let's see each of the operation so i just mentioned that push operation can happen in big off one time because we are just simply pushing one node inside the stack uh, let's try to do a pop operation so pop operation can also happen in big off one time because we are simply popping one element out so we will get rid of this element okay now once again let's try to do the top operation so top operation we need we can return 7 immediately because that has been the latest value we, fi we find and then if we do the get min operation this can also happen in big off one time because we can simply find the minimum value we have been able to identify so far so this is the logic on how we are going to solve this problem basically by simply redefining the way we are storing the values and then keeping track of the minimum value at every single position that is the whole trick and if we see time complexity in this case well time complexity we already know that that is going to be big of one and in terms of space complexity uh, well this is debatable but i think it it has to be big of one because anyways we are being asked to create a stack so we cannot create extra space for that so first let's define the node for our given class where we are going to store three values first one is the value of any particular position next is the min value and third is the reference to the next node and this is just a simple constructor to store the values okay now coming back to our main class we are going to have a private node head and we are going to initialize our data structure here next we are going to have a main push method so whenever we need to push any single entry so if the value is very first then we are simply going to provide the value as it is then minimum value is also going to be the same value because there are no other entries inside the stack and then the next element would be simply null if that is not the case we are going to add a new node where we are going to keep the value as it is then for the minimum value we are actually going to compare it with the current value and the minimum value we have been able to find so far and that we can simply find uh, using the next node and then as a part of the next node we are simply going to point to the head node and this is going to be keep on updating with every single entry uh, for the pop it's very simple we simply uh, take the very first element that is currently present for the top we simply return the very first element and then inside the for the get min method we simply return the minimum value for the head and this is the whole solution let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs extremely fast compared to a lot of other solutions in terms of time complexity and very efficient in terms of space complexity so once again i would be posting this in our github repository so you can check it out from there thank you